Dear students, welcome to our third video on the chapter Biodiversity. This presentation is a collaboration between Mr. Shakil Achia from the Mauritius Institute of Education and Mrs. Pia Bacchus, Biology Educator. In our previous lessons, we defined the term biodiversity. We explained the use of quadrats. We described the importance of biodiversity. And in this lesson, we are going to focus on the factors affecting biodiversity. As previously explained in our last video, Biodiversity is very important for the equilibrium of nature and our survival on Earth. But in the recent years, we have found that our biodiversity is under attack and the Earth is suffering from a worldwide biodiversity loss. The high levels of loss in biodiversity have started causing global concern. The causes of biodiversity loss can be classified as natural and man-made, that is, through human activities. Natural causes include impacts of asteroids, which scientists believed happened millions of years ago, making all dinosaurs extinct. Volcanoes, natural fires, or even earthquakes and hurricanes. Before proceeding further, let us view a small video on some of the natural disasters which have a negative impact on biodiversity. A natural disaster is in fact any major event resulting from natural processes of the earth. One example is volcano eruptions. Volcanoes can cause widespread destruction and consequent disaster in several ways. Whilst it destroys many buildings and human settlements, it also destroys biodiversity. Toxic gases are released during eruptions, co contributing to greenhouse effect and acid rain. Vegetations or even large areas of forest are destroyed. If the volcano is found near a water body, aquatic life can also be affected due to an increase in acidity and change in temperature of the water. Natural fires, also known as wildfire. It is an uncontrollable fire which in an area of combustible vegetation. The most common causes of natural fires are very dry climates, lightning or even volcano eruptions. The burning of large areas of vegetations contribute to the greenhouse effect due to the emission of large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Moreover, the ashes destroy much of the nutrients in the soil causing landslides and we must also not forget the animals which die during wildfires. Hurricanes or cyclones are very huge storms which have very strong winds accompanied with heavy rainfall. Some countries of the world are deeply affected by these storms. Like all other disasters, they have a devastating effect on the environment. The strong winds defoliate forest canopies and cause dramatic changes in wooded ecosystems. Animals are also killed, either directly or indirectly, through loss of habitats. Now let's go back to our slide. The human activities which contribute to 
the loss of biodiversity include deforestation, pollution, over-exploitation of resources, and introduction of invasive alien species. In this video, we will focus on deforestation and pollution. The rest will be covered in our next video. So let's begin firstly with deforestation. Deforestation is defined as the clearing of large areas of forest. Why do people do deforestation? They cut down trees for industrial materials such as paper and timber. They convert forest into agricultural lands, for example grazing for farm animals and for cultivating crops. They clear forests for urban development, accommodating roads, buildings, industries, residential plots and dams. Now, what is the consequence of deforestation? Its main effect is that it causes biodiversity loss. When forests are cleared on a large scale, it destroys many plants and also the habitats of many animals. Deprived of their homes, animals either move elsewhere or they die. Another human activity which affects biodiversity is pollution. Pollution occurs when harmful substances are released into the environment. These substances are called pollutants. There are different types of pollution, namely air, water, soil or land, and noise and heat pollution. In this video, we will mainly focus on air and water pollution. Only. Air pollution. It occurs when harmful gases, dust and smoke are released into the atmosphere. Burning of fuels in power plants, factories and vehicles. It releases pollutants such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen, causing air pollution. What are the consequences or effects of air pollution? The excessive release of greenhouse gases, that is carbon dioxide and methane, in the atmosphere causes global warming. Global warming is where the temperature of the, of the globe or of the earth is increased. This results in the melting of ice caps and glaciers, posing a threat to the survival of animals such as polar bears. Global warming also leads to climate change, which impacts negatively on biodiversity. Sulfur dioxide, released from chimneys of factories and exhaust pipes of vehicles, affects the respiratory system of animals and humans. The release of sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen, which are acidic gases in the atmosphere, lead to the formation of acid rain, which affects aquatic and forest ecosystem. This is all for today. But before ending today's lesson, let us summarize what we covered today. 
Biodiversity loss is caused either by natural causes or by human activities. Natural causes include volcano eruptions, natural fires, earthquakes, hurricanes, etc. Human activities include deforestation, air pollution, which we have just seen in this video, amongst others.